<laughs> Hi, this is Travis Macy coming in from Jones Pass in Colorado with a quick overview about uh, alpine touring skiing. You may have heard it called AT, maybe randonnée skiing, uh, maybe just backcountry skiing. All of those things are fairly synonymous. Uh, I'm going to go over a real quick overview here, talk about some of the transitions and uh, just a little bit of information to get you started. Uh, so first of all, basic equipment. Uh, whenever you're going out skiing, uh, you always want either sunglasses and goggles, you got a helmet, got sunscreen on, you see Colorado days like this, uh, you're out in the sun quite a bit. Uh, in the backpack, I've got some water, I've got some food, I've got a, uh, a little um, hose insulator here that keeps it from freezing up in the cold weather. Uh, also, if you're going in the backcountry, you always want to have uh, your avalanche beacon and a shovel and a probe. Uh, make sure you know how to use those things. That's a whole separate skill set. Whenever you're doing anything uh, in potential avalanche conditions, you got to have those and you got to have people with you who know what they're doing as well. Uh, as far as the equipment goes, um, I've got uh, some boots on here. This is a, a Scarpa race boot. You can see it's, it's uh, very lightweight. It's got a couple of buckles on it, one across the forefoot and one across uh, the top. When I'm going up uphill, I'm going to leave those buckles undone to allow for quite a bit of movement. Um, it's also got a binding system where pins can go in on the side, on the toes, and also on the back here. Uh, that coordinates with these skis. This is a real lightweight uh, ski mountaineering racing ski. If you're getting out for most backcountry stuff, especially in powder, you want to have probably a bigger ski one that's, that's wider and has more of a side cut. Uh, again, this is a great ski for going fast uphill, uh, not the best uh, when you're going downhill in challenging conditions. Uh, you can see the binding has pins that clip in on the side of the boots and also uh, on the rear, on the heel here as well. This binding, uh, as I'll show in a sec, uh, is pretty neat and dynamic. It shifts around. You can move this heel piece from side to side uh, for different settings when you're going uphill. Uh, of course, you got poles. You can use regular downhill poles. I kind of use a, a bit of a shorter Nordic pole uh, to do this usually uh, when I'm backcountry skiing. Uh, so those are the, the basic pieces. You also, of course, have uh, climbing skins. This is a fairly basic setup here. You've got two sides on the skin. One side is the sticky side that goes against the ski. Uh, the other side is the side with, with almost a furry sort of texture. Um, it's, it, it has the, the texture so that it'll slide one direction but grip when going the other way. This is a synthetic climbing skin, uh, not quite as good as, as the actual black mohair skins, but a little bit cheaper. Uh, so that's all the stuff to get started here. I'm going to throw on the climbing skin. Uh, this one attaches on the ski with a little notch in front of the ski. There's other attachment systems available as well. And then simply stick the skin on as far as it goes down. Some setups will have the climbing skin attached at the bottom of the ski as well. Push it down a few times. Make sure it's on there well. Make sure you don't smooth with an open palm like this. That's a great way to slice up your hands. Uh, so I throw one on there. Make sure my bindings turn sideways so I'll be able to step somewhere with my heel. Grab the other one. You always want to wipe off the ski first to get any snow crystals off of that. Grab my other skin, pull it apart, again attach it right through the notch there, turn the heel piece sideways again according to uh, how steep the no is going up. And then to clip in, pretty simple. Line up those holes on the sides of the boot with the uh, spring pins on the binding itself. Some people mark their boots to, uh, to get those holes lined up. And you push down almost like 
clicking into a bike clip kind of. When you're going uphill, you want to pull this toe tab up all the way. Dip in your other one. And pull it up. And you're ready to go uphill. Check in with you at the top for the transition to downhill.